Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me it makes a huge difference and it is appreciated very much. Please take the time and check out our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. You can use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the mobile application free for my subscribers. I also recommend you registering as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program made for the financially challenged as I like to call it. It makes saving gold easy and affordable for everyone. Now is the time to get involved if you have not already done so. Both of the links are in the description below. First article of interest for today, the central bank will not be blackmailed. From time to time some social media outlets and some yellow channels owned by people whose orientations and purposes are poorly intended to offend national economic institutions that have clear success experiences and work with competent Iraqi national cadres come out to us. And that these channels are driven by special interests inside and outside Iraq, and they are reported and paid for, and they are always hunting with murky water and targeting our national economy and its institutions that have made clear achievements during the economic and security shocks that Iraq passed after mid-2014 and contributed to achieving economic resilience and supported our national economy. Trumpets in their press and media reports targeting the central bank on recurring and consuming topics, and that the aim of ruminating them from time to time is personal projection public extortion, and coverage of the accomplishments achieved during the past five years. So why target? The reason, as I see it, is that the central bank insists on the need for all relevant parties to carry out its daily work internally and externally to adhere to the instructions, controls and regulations that maintain economic stability in the country which will lead to fighting corruption and the smuggling of the dollar abroad and maintain the strength of the Iraqi dinar and the stability of the exchange rate and building the national economy properly. Although I respect the other opinion that is issued by non-specialists or from economists in monetary policy in particular, but I may disagree with the opinion that attempts to dwarf, minimize and personalize the achievements made by the central bank in facing the economic and financial crisis during the past years, which is the most difficult stage Iraq has gone through. Therefore, I invite these people to consider, even once, to preserve the reputation of the Iraqi economy and its distinguished institutions, because it is not logical to allow a well-known Arab media channel against the economic steadfastness and monetary stability in Iraq that has not been achieved in countries that have gone through circumstances similar to what Iraq is going through. Assigning accusations to the central bank and damaging Iraq's economic reputation internationally without clear evidence or facts and without anyone being held accountable. These parties are known before others through the evidence and achievements that the Central Bank of Iraq has proven to be the first economic institution through its important achievements in supporting the national economy and achieving economic resilience and seeking to achieve economic stability in accordance with its strategy drawn up to the year 2020. The important thing that has been achieved is the stability of the exchange rate and the reduction of the gap between the official price of the US dollar and the parallel price, which is the basic goal of monetary policy and the application of policies to restore confidence in international banking transactions of Iraqi banks with Arab and foreign banks and strive to build a solid and solid banking sector. In conclusion, I invite these people, leave the successful economic institutions to work with high effort and double efforts for Iraq, and they are interested in addressing your economic and banking problems in your countries because the Central Bank of Iraq and the Iraqi banking sector will never undergo blackmail. Next article of interest. The Association of Private Banks concludes the Capital Adequacy course. The Iraqi Private Banking Association concluded the session capital adequacy according to the requirements of Basel III. The session was held in cooperation between the Association of Iraqi Private Banks and the Central Bank, the Center for Banking Studies and the Banking Control Department. The course, which spanned over seven days, 
targeted managers of financial departments and their assistants, and managers of risk departments and their assistants. Next article of interest. A parliamentary proposal authorizing the government to send the 2020 budget to the House of Representatives. A deputy in the parliament revealed, on Sunday, a proposal authorizing the government to send the budget to the parliament. The parliament will discuss a number of laws during the scheduled session, today, Sunday, including a discussion on extending the legislative term and reducing the holiday, said the deputy of the Al Fatah coalition, Fadl Jaber, in a statement reported by the newspaper Al Sabah. He added, the session will witness the opening of discussion for the amendments decided on the retirement law, especially the doctor's retirement clause and some tranches, indicating that the council presents a proposal and a legal formula that will vote on it to authorize the government to send a draft. Jaber said, the political blocs are unanimous in authorizing the government to send the budget to its importance in running the daily lives of citizens and the new government cannot wait. Next article of interest. Three candidates were nominated for the post of Prime Minister, and the most likely win. The representative of the Construction Alliance, Mukhtar al Musawi, revealed the submission of three names as candidates for the post of Prime Minister. Al Musawi said, three names were presented as candidates for the post of Prime Minister, including Ali Shukri, advisor to the President of the Republic, and Mohammad Tafiq Alawi as well as a third military figure, noting that Ali Shukri possesses the best chance of taking the position. He added that there is what is more important at the present time from the issue of choosing a prime minister, which is the repercussions of the American presence and the expected demonstrations against that presence. Musawi continued, we are likely to choose one of them after the end of the repercussions of the American presence and the demonstrations called by the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtada al-Sadr, against the American presence. Next article of interest. al Dulaimi demands no delay in sending the budget and using it as a political paper. On Sunday, the deputy from the Iraqi Forces Union, Zaytun al Dulaimi asked the caretaker government to send the budget to Parliament, warning that it would be used as a new pressure card. al Dulaimi said in a statement to Information that the pretext of the illegality of sending the budget to Parliament by the caretaker government is unconstitutional as long as it was voted on by the cabinet and the government was fully empowered, warning against using the budget as a new pressure card for the purpose of renewing confidence for the Adel Abdul Mahdi government. al Dulaimi added, the previous budget was sent by the government of Prime Minister Haider al Abadi, and it was then a caretaker government that was assigned to Abdul Mahdi. The Vice Speaker of the House of Representatives, Bashir Haddad, confirmed, yesterday, Saturday, that the government informed the Parliament of the readiness of the budget but that the government turned to conducting business prevents it constitutionally from sending any draft law to Parliament. Next article of interest. Political forces pressure my thanks to accept the Prime Minister and continue negotiations with al Qazemi. A prominent leader in the Building Alliance revealed, on Sunday, that the political forces are pressuring Ali Shukri to accept the Premiership and continue negotiations with Mustafa al Qazemi. The leader said, the political forces have agreed during the past days to nominate the current advisor to the presidency, Ali Shukri, to the prime minister, but he apologized for the task as difficult, and the name of the head of the intelligence service, Mustafa Al-Kazimi, was strongly resubmitted during the ongoing negotiations between the political forces. He revealed that, the political forces are still pressing my thanks to accept the mission, in conjunction with continuing negotiations with al Qazemi. He emphasized that, al Qazemi enjoys the support of the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, as well as the Sunni and Kurdish forces, the Sadrist movement, and other Shiite political forces. Other candidates such as Abdul Ghani al-Assadi and Judge Rahim al-Akili, he suggested that the crisis will be resolved within days if the current dialogues continue in one direction regarding al Qazemi. He noted that the issue remains within the scope of sudden decisions and quick settlements.
but in any case it can be said that there is agreement on the need to end the crisis and go to a new government quickly. Next article of interest. Deputy for Serun, the Prime Minister's crisis must be resolved today or tomorrow. Deputy Governor of the Alliance of Naji Idris Idris confirmed, on Sunday, that the meeting of the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, with the political blocs was not attended by a representative of the other, noting that the general situation is passing through the most dangerous stage and the crisis must be resolved today or tomorrow. Idris said in a statement to the information, the Alliance of Sarian announced a long time ago that he will not participate in any meeting regarding the selection of a new prime minister, but we will not oppose any choice provided that it is independent and acceptable from the street in good reference and according to its specifications. He added that, yesterday's meeting at the President's House of the Political Blocks did not attend any representative of the other people, noting that, the information I personally obtained about yesterday's meeting is the failure to reach agreement on a specific personality. Idris warned the political blocs of entering into a major impasse because the general situation is going through the most dangerous stage of popular congestion, and the government crisis today or tomorrow must be resolved in the most extreme cases. Next article of interest. Deputy warns, we will go to the unknown if no prime minister is named within two days. On Sunday, Nada Shaker Jadat, a deputy for the Victory Coalition, warned the political blocks of the political process not going to the unknown in the event that the head of a transitional government did not name the street specifications within two days, blaming the Shiite political forces for the delay in resolving the nomination of the next prime minister. Jadat said in a statement to the information that the threats of the demonstration arenas in Baghdad and the provinces to escalate and expand the protests raise concerns and constitute a factor of concern for citizens, and it has become necessary to expedite the solution of the crisis of naming the prime minister in order to prevent any negative phenomenon that may lead to breaches of security or security. She added that the political blocs especially the Shiites concerned with naming the Prime Minister, and not finding a mechanism for approval, will probably go the political process to the unknown. Jadat demanded the leaders of the influential political blocs, urgent intervention in resolving the crisis and the formation of a new transitional government for a certain period and specific powers until new elections are held. Next article of interest. al Hikma stream. 10 days at the latest to resolve the file of the Prime Minister. A leader in the al Hikma stream, confirmed on Sunday that the maximum limit for resolving the file of the Prime Minister will be within 10 days. There is a political movement going on in order to accelerate the issue of choosing a Prime Minister for an interim government, said current leader Mohammed al-Husseini. He stressed that, the stream of wisdom is running in meetings and moves to persuade the political forces that the selection of a prime minister is completely independent and acceptable, and show the danger of choosing a political figure to head the government. Al-Husseini said, according to the indicators and meetings that have been going on for the past two days, it can be said that the decision of the prime minister to choose the new government will be within the next week, or ten days at the most. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Energy is talking about positive agreement with China, oil prices determined by the stock exchange. The Parliamentary Committee on Oil and Energy confirmed, on Saturday, that oil prices in the agreement with China will be determined by the global stock exchange, while it indicated that they are positive in the agreement. Committee member Ali al Abudi told Nawazi News that the subject of the agreement with China is a lot of talk about it, but the government did not announce its provisions clearly to public opinion and it is assumed that the Prime Minister's office should clarify the vague points of the people and it can be said that the text of the agreement is oil for ages. He added, as for the oil prices in the agreement, they are determined according to the International Stock Exchange, day by day and not a fixed price throughout the implementation of the agreement. He, pointed out, the agreement has a positive point, which includes the marketing of Iraqi oil, regardless of the size of supply and demand for shipments, especially in light of the world's tendency to clean energy sources during the coming years. He continued, 
We hope that there will be agreements with countries other than China with the same mechanism, so that we can guarantee the marketing of oil and that there will be construction and construction in return. But as for exporting oil and the scene remains the same, this remains a great spoiler. Next article of interest. Parliamentary planning reveals a plan to build 8 million housing units in all governorates. The Parliamentary Planning Committee revealed, on Saturday, the existence of a government plan that will be implemented within the Chinese agreement to build 8 million housing units throughout the country's provinces. Committee member Mohammed al baldawi said in a statement to information that the economic agreement with China included the construction of housing units in all provinces of the country, noting that those units will exceed the 8 million units distributed over all provinces. He added that those housing units will completely solve the housing and informal settlements crisis for all governorates, especially Iraq, needs approximately 2 million units indicating that the government will adopt vertical construction to provide the largest possible number of housing units, and that the agreement with China does not need to be included in the federal budget for 2020 as it depends on oil surplus, explaining that the government used oil with China to get rid of the party's control of service projects and steal their money, and pledged the Parliamentary Investment and Economic Committee the day before yesterday, Thursday, the success of the economic agreement with the Chinese side, the good Iraqi negotiator to achieve the country's interest, while setting a date to discuss the terms of the agreement within the House of Representatives. Please hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog and find me on Facebook. Please take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner. Use the promo code. The Denarian to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added on at no extra charge. Also, get registered as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you may lose everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold. I know what you're thinking, gold is too expensive right? This program is made so low-income people can afford to buy gold in small increments, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always transfer gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need, the gold will always be in your possession. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links are available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power, over and out for now, the Denarian.